Guys, welcome to today's video. We're talking about proprietary trading firms. What are they and how can you apply for one? But first, my name is Forrest. I invest in stuff and you should to cue the intro. So proprietary trading firms are trading firms that use their own capital to trade the markets, right? That could be futures, commodities, stocks, options, right? But the key difference here is that they have traders that work for them and there's always a profit split. So if you work at a prop trading firm, you essentially are trading their capital, right? The house might take 20%, you keep 80% of the profits. But how do you get into one? So you're interested in becoming a prop trader. What do you actually need to do to apply to a proprietary trading firm? Well guys, first and foremost, you need to be a decent trader, right? Um, everything else I'm gonna say after this, right? Aligning to values and things like that, super duper important. But if you're not a profitable trader, applying for a prop firm won't make you a profitable trader, right? One of the Mistakes that I see a lot of people make is they're trying to improve their trading. They're trying to figure out a better system. They're like, oh, maybe I should get a funded account, right? A funded account is a, another way that people talk about prop firms or proprietary trading firms. And they want to use that as a means to become profitable. Guys, these firms make a lot of their money from people trying to uh, get into the firm, right? There's fees involved and we can talk about all that and I guess I will in a second. But the first thing that you need to do is actually be a profitable trader. Right. The second thing that you need to do is try to find a firm that aligns to what you trade. Right. I trade futures. Right. So I signed up with Apex uh, Trader Funding because they are focused on ES futures, which is the only thing that I trade. I looked at FTMO, which is another company. Right. But they don't allow me to trade index futures. They do currencies. I could have switched to currencies, but again, I don't want to change my entire system. Instead, I wanted to find a firm that aligns to my style of trading, right? So what are some other things that you can do when you wanna become a prop trader either through an online thing like I did or in real life? Well, the first thing you can do is surround yourself with other traders, right? So networking with people in the industry, attending events, joining online forums, and really just connecting with people who are already doing it. That's how I start, started doing it. Somebody was like, hey, I've been doing this. And I'm like, eh, it seems kinda of scammy. I'm not sure about it, but really I just didn't know anything about it. I applied and actually just passed my first 300K account. So I have a $300,000 account now, and I have a few other accounts that I'm gonna apply for next, right? I'd say the second thing that you need to do is really understand the fee structure, right? So obviously aligning the value, finding a firm that lets you trade, um, you know, what you trade, but then also understanding fee structures, right? So every, every time you apply for an account, there's a new fee. If you blow up the account, right, if you fail the challenge, and we'll talk about challenges next, if you fail the challenge, you have to also pay a fee to restart the challenge. So I've blown up a few of my accounts, um, but we'll actually talk about how that happened. I'll talk about the trailing stop in another video. Uh, but yeah, just understand the fee structures, guys. Otherwise, you can end up spending a lot of money, and you're really going to spend an astronomical amount of money if you're not a profitable trader. Challenges. Let's talk about the hardest part of becoming a prop trader nowadays, guys, whether it's FTMO, Apex Trading, whatever other flavor of the month trading company you want to apply for, right? How do the challenges work? Basically, they take it like, imagine if you gave your money to somebody, right? You want some rules to be in place, right? You wouldn't want them to just bet it all on black, right? Have a gambling style of trading. No, and the prop firms are exactly the same way. They want you to be a responsible trader. They want consistency right they're trying to partner with you as a trader right so if you come in bet it all hit the profit target that's not going to be good enough for them right so every trading challenge has a profit target right there are a number of minimum days that you have to trade right and then there are stipulations for maximum loss that you can take right so some companies have a per day max loss saying maybe you only lose two thousand dollars maximum in one day so it's not in total it's in a day can you control your losses and then they also have in my case what's called a trailing uh, stop loss or a trailing loss which basically says for every dollar that you could have made 
right? Did you take that dollar, right? It's the simplest way to, th uh, to think about it. So for example, right, say I get in an apple at $5, it goes up to $10, but then I get out at $8, right? So we went from five to 10, down to eight, right? So we made the $3, but really, I could have made the five, right? And they want you to take the five. If you don't take the five, then you're gonna have a $2 trailing loss, right? Um, or this threshold, trailing threshold, what they call it. You're probably saying force. That kind of seems like BS. I mean, you didn't lose money. And you're right, but guys, it's not your money that you're trading, right? So they can have whatever rules that they want. And this is why I'm saying it needs to align to your style of trading. Right? Uh, I like this challenge, right? Because it forces you to trade better in a way. I know earlier that I said prop firms aren't gonna make you profitable, and that's true. Um, but if you actually think about and come up with a trading plan that allows you to account for this trailing stop, you know, instead of going for 15 point bangers, maybe you just go for three or four points over and over and over again, right? The challenges that I've passed, I've given up zero money, right? I had zero money on the table for my trailing threshold, uh, but my trades were way smaller, way, 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 way smaller. Than they usually are, right? So that's just something to keep in mind. The other thing with the challenges, right, again, when you fail, I'm talking about the fees, it costs, you know, in my case, $80 to reset an account, right? So do not do this, guys, if you cannot eat those losses, right? Every single prop firm has a different type of challenge. They have, you know, very specific rules of how you can trade. Uh, let's talk about windfall trading, right? In my case, Apex, they do not like windfall traders. So if you come in, and again, and one day make a crap ton of money, try to pass the challenge, or even when, once you're funded, right? Say you pass the challenge, you're now funded, you have access to the funds, and you hit it big one day. They don't want you to hit it big one day and then leave, right? Even though you've made that money, their goal is to have a bunch of profitable traders trading over time, right? So unlike my own capital, when I trade my own capital, I can do whatever I want, right? I make 100 grand in a day, I could take three months off. If you're a prop trader, you can't do that, right? They want you to essentially be an employee the benefit, of course, is that you're trading their money, right? You don't have to trade uh, your own money, right? My goal is to have 10 accounts, make 500 a day per account, which is $5,000 per day, right? So it's not that big of a goal at all, but I'm doing, uh, making consistent profits. They're happy, I'm happy, right? So that's my goal. Some days I'll do way better than that. Some days I'll lose money, but as long as on average, I'm doing $500 per day, uh, I'll make I think it's like 2000 or $2 million a year. I don't know, I can't remember what the math is. It's a lot of money, guys, right? So you need to think in smaller terms, reduce your expectations. We're not gonna go into a mindset video. We're gonna keep talking about prop firms, but let's go into the next segment. So should you do it, guys? Should you go run right after you saw this video, apply for a prop trading firm, spend, you know, $300, $1,000, or whatever it was to apply, and then go through the process, right? So I'm gonna break this down into two simple steps for you. One question, right? First and foremost, are you profitable over the last 30 days? If you can't look at your P&L over the last 30 days and consistently output consistent profits, executing on your trading plan, don't even think about it, guys. You need to either have like 90 days paper trading, pure profits, right? And I haven't talked about paper trading at all, but you need a really long runway of paper trading, profitable before you even apply for one, or two, have 30 days of consistent uh, profits in your own account. The other part of this, guys, is just capital. capital. Capitable, capital, right? Um, they make their money, right? They make their money on you failing, right? A lot of these prop trading firms, there's constantly on sales. Um, and I was actually looking at Apex, they announced like, it's like a million people applied for an account on the last sale, right? So they're making millions of dollars just through people applying for these accounts, right? Trading still, it does, it does not change the game when you're trading your own money versus another trader, right? So I really, really, really wanna caution you guys to sprinting to these unless you have the capital in order to sustain reapplying for these accounts, unless you understand futures, commodities, tradings, unless you've implemented and, and have co consistently used like profit targets and stop losses, right? If you're not using stop losses and profit targets in your trading today, first go do that, practice for a few months, prop firms aren't going anywhere, and try that out first, guys. But really, that's it, you know? Um, I wanted to share this because that's what I'm doing now. Again, my goal is $500 a day across 10 accounts. It gives me five grand a day. Um, sounds easy when I say it like that, but it's actually really, 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 really tough. Um, so yeah, let me know 
what you thought of this. If you have any questions left, leave them down in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Share this with two of your friends. Of course, my name is Forrest. I invest in stuff. Till the next one, peace.